Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy and in today's video, we'll be going over how to scale a scrolling frame in Roblox Studio. I've previously made a tutorial like this one before which goes over scrolling frames, but during that video I didn't show many ways on how to actually scale scrolling frames to fit any type of layout or style. So this video is going to be mainly based around scrolling frames on how to actually make any type of layout or style inside of your scrolling frame scale to fit a player's screen. So for starters, you want to make sure that your Explore in Properties are enabled. If your Explore in Properties are not enabled, head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explore in Properties, and they should show up somewhere over your screen. So now that you've enabled Explore in Properties, you want to go and install the plugin which we're going to be using to scale the GUI. So we're now on the plugin page. If you don't already have this plugin, the link to the plugin will be down in the description. What you want to do is you want to head over to the plugin page and then go click on inst Install. Because I've already got it installed, I can't install it again because it is already in my Roblox Studio. But go click on Install and then you want to head back to Roblox Studio. So now that you're back in Roblox Studio, you want to go and make sure that you have actually gone and installed your plugin correctly. Usually you should be able to see it right here along your plugins page. As you guys can see, mine is over there. But if it is not, you want to head over here to your Manage Plugins. And then you want to make sure that your Auto Scale Light is actually enabled. Um, if it is not even here, then you need to go and try and install it again until it shows up here in your Manage Plugins or it's shown up over here somewhere. So now that we've gone and set up our plugins, we firstly want to go and create the main GUI which will hold this scrolling frame. So I'm going to head over here to start a GUI, click on the plus button, and insert a screen GUI, and then inside of the screen GUI I'm going to insert a frame. So now that you've gone and inserted your main frame which is going to be holding this scrolling frame, you want to go and customize it to how you like. You could add a UI corner here for example, you could make it look not so blocky, you could really change it up to however you like. Really go and customize it to how you like, change the background color, add a UI stroke, really whatever you feel you would like your GUI to look like. For this tutorial I'm just going to be adding a UI stroke just to add that little bit of extra touch to it. There we have it over there and we'll go and make this fall just like that. It gives us a nice little bit of a clean outline. But anyway, let's go and get back to scaling. So we want to go click on here by our frame and we want to go to the anchor point and we want to change this anchor point from 0, 0 to 0, 0.5, 0, 0.5 and it should look like that. Now it will take your GUI off the screen but you simply just drag it back to its initial position. So now that you've gone and changed your anchor point, you want to head over here to your plugins and then you want to go click on unit conversion and it will pop up just like explore and properties somewhere over your screen. If you would like to change where it is positioned, you just simply grab the little top bar and then you can select on where it is actually positioned. But we'll keep ours just up there for the tutorial. So we've got our main frame, we've set our anchor point, we then want to go over here, click on scale by position and then scale on size. And then what you want to do, you want to keep holding down on your frame and then you want to go and click add constraint. So now we're adding a constraint inside of our GUI. Now if we go and size down our screen, you're able to see that the main screen sizes down. Perfect, that's all good and well. So now what we want to do, we want to go and click on the plus button and insert our scrolling frame. Now obviously, as I mentioned, you go and customize your GUI to how you like it, add titles, add really whatever you would like. Now you want to go and select on how big you want your scrolling frame to be. So I'm just going to choose a bit of a color here to actually represent on where our um, main scrolling frame is. So for example, we will have our scrolling frame, let's take up the whole screen because it doesn't really matter what size you keep it, it's totally up to you. So you can customize your GUI to how you like it, but our scrolling frame is gonna be taken up the entire screen. So now you wanna go and customize your, sc uh, your scrolling frame, the properties of your scrolling frame, meaning how much space do you want, what is it, what thickness of the bar do you want, you can go and adjust that all here in the properties. For example, you're able to change the um, let's see the thickness of the scrolling bar here. You can change that to six, for example. You can also change the um, canvas size. So, um, as I'm aware, I think you can change the canvas size by adding another unit. And as you guys can see, now it is a bigger canvas size. So once you're happy with your properties of your scrolling frame, you wanna head over here to unit conversion while holding still onto the scrolling frame. Click scale and then scale on size also. So scale on position and scale on size. And then we wanna head over here to our plugins and then add a constraint into that. Now if we go and size down our screen, you're able to see the scrolling frame goes with 
the other main frame that we created earlier. So that's all good and well. The scrolling frame is scaled, but not the UI inside the scrolling frame because we haven't even actually got around to that yet. So our main things that have been scaled at the present moment is the main holding frame and also our scrolling frame. Now, what we want to go and do, we want to go click on the plus button here, and then we want to insert a frame. Now, this is going to be the GUI that is inside your scrolling frame. What you want to go do now is you want to head over here to the frame properties. You want to head over down here, and you want to go over to the size. So at the moment, if we actually go and expand this, you'll be able to see what I mean here. So on the sides at the moment, we've got an offset scale of 126. Then our offset is also 129 over here. What you want to go and do, you want to go and change the offset over here on both of the offsets to zero. Go and change it just like that, so that it should be 0, 0, it should look something like that right now. It should not have any digits there by offset. Now what you want to go do is you want to go and scale your um, frame by the scale on the X and Y. So for example, we'll go and make this 0 0.125 for example, we're going to make that 0 0.125 and then we'll change the Y axis of the scale over here to 0 0.125 also, we'll do that for example. And as you guys can see, that has now gone and scaled our GUI using the scale, not the offset. So now that you've got this, you go and change the size to how you want. Now that we've gone and sized our main frame here, what we want to go and do now, something else I should point in here, is if when you go and move it like this, this is now controlling up on the scale factor, not the offset factor. So you don't have to worry about changing that again. Once you've changed it to the scale, it will no matter what be the scale on the X and Y. Anyway, so we've gone and changed the size here. What we want to go and do now is we now we're going to go click on our frame and then we want to go scale on position and then scale on size also. Then, as you guys will be able to see, when I go and move the screen over, you're able to see that the main GUI or the main frame inside of the scrolling frame scales down with it. Now, if we had it on the offset, it wouldn't be scaling correctly. Also, something to take note of is we do not add a constraint into this frame, simply because this scrolling frame already has a constraint, so we do not need a constraint inside of our frame. Now, let's say you wanted to go and add a bit of text inside of your frame right here. Let me go and size this down. And let's go and make it something like that. We're just going to do a couple demonstrations here just to show you how it all works. Obviously, this looks terrible. It's not very nice GUI. So you go and create it to how you would like it. But now that we've got our text label, all you do is you go scale here on the position, scale here on the size. And then as you guys will be able to see, I go scale it down. And so does everything else. Now, you're able to see that the text doesn't stay the same. What you want to do with that, you just go down here to the properties of your text. And then you go and do text scaled. And now your text will be scaled depending on how big the GUI is. And as you guys can see, the text is scaled with the other frame. And all we did was go scale on the position and scale on the size. Now the exact same thing, once you've got one, you can just simply duplicate it, drag it over, and it will work exactly the same. And as you guys will be able to see, if I click off there, I go size the GUI down, it doesn't collide, nothing happens to the GUI. It stays exactly how it needs to be. Now let's say you wanted to add a little bit of text into the scrolling frame, you do exactly what we did with the frame. So we head over to the scrolling frame, we click on the text label, we now, I don't know, whatever you want to name this, you want to call this Game Passes, below this is going to be Game Passes, we go and change the name, you go and scale your text, but now you also want to go and size the same thing that we did with the frame. At the moment it's on offset, which is not what we want, so we want to go and delete this and change that to zero, delete the offset, change that to zero, and then scale it going 1.25, and then we can kind of change it from there. I think 1.25 is a reasonably fine size to eventually start working with. So one, um, zero, sorry, that's offset. Um, let me change that back to zero and then scale 1.25 exactly like that. Then you can go and scale it accordingly on how you would like it. So for example, there's our, gonna be our title. We're going to put that over there. We go and scale the text um, how we did it earlier. And then what we do, we just simply grab our text label, scale on the position, scale on the size, and now you're able to see no matter where, how we scale it, it is going to match all the other GUI so that it all scales correctly. So now it's totally up to you if you go and change the anchor points accordingly to each of your GUI. Usually what tends to happen, if you've got your anchor points set here on the main frame which is holding everything else, you don't need to go and implement it in everywhere else, simply because it is already going to be controlled with this anchor point on the main holding GUI. But it's totally up to you if you would like to, but it's not really necessary when you've got the anchor point already set here on the main GUI. So it's totally up to you, but as you guys can see, I am not using any anchor points here with these frames or with the scrolling frames and all of that, but and it scales correctly. But if I had, for example, 
no anchor point and it had a zero point comma, uh, sorry, zero point, uh, zero comma zero. It would sit like that. We grab that, we take that back to the middle and watch what happens now when we scale it down. You're able to see it goes to the top because it is dragging that way. But because we had it at 0 0.5, we're going to change it back to 0 0.5 comma 0.5, just like that. Oh, sorry, this is uh, the mainframe. Uh, 0.5 comma 0.5, exactly like that. We drag that down using control. You're able to see it now goes to the center of the screen. It doesn't go over there because we've set an anchor point of 0.5 0.5. If you guys are a little bit lost and you're needing a little bit of assistance here with scaling your scrolling frame, please feel free to create a ticket to my Discord server and we'd be more than happy to help out. But anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway guys, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.